Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. It's been a long, long time since I, um, since I've made videos regularly. Um, I'm thinking of just making a few videos for, for Arknights, because I've been, um, playing the game pretty casually and enjoying it quite a bit. So, I decided, maybe not like a daily upload, but I decided I, I could, um, basically make videos maybe once or twice a week, um, kind of just for fun. So this video, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go over the upcoming event. Um, now, there's a few things I need to tell you before we begin. Um, I never played on the Chinese server, although I am Chinese, so I can actually read Chinese. Um, I've never played on the Chinese server. I, uh, you know, I, a lot of this is just researched information, but I, I do a lot of like, you know, whenever I play a game, I like to look things up and kind of plan ahead. So this is kind of for those of you that want to do that and be really prepared for the first upcoming event um, in Arknights that we're getting on the global server. So um, with that being said, there's going to be spoilers. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of people that like to play through the game by themselves and this video probably isn't for you like it's it, there's going to be heavy spoilers in this because i'm going to um, actually go over the event stages in this video so it's going to um you know if, if you're not into spoilers then um, don't watch this video but if you want to prepare yourself to be as you know as ready as possible for the the upcoming event and clear all the stages and claim all the rewards um, as much as possible, especially if you're like playing very casually, especially if you're free to play, um, you want to really manage your resources, not to like waste anything. So that's why I decided to make this video. And this was actually requested by, by a viewer, um, that saw my last Arcanized video to, to make this video. So I decided to, to do that, um, for him. So, um, the upcoming event is actually quite simple. All, what it um, what it is is there's various maps. I have a few tabs open here. Um, the first thing is actually wait, this video is still playing. So uh, basically, there's going to be an event map, um, kind of si similar to the regular maps. And I'm actually borrowing footage from from Billy Billy. Um, this is like the Chinese YouTube, and um, from this from the the user called. Um, this translates to call me quilt. Yes, <laughs> if I directly translate it to English. Um, but I'm actually going to bar be borrowing this, just just this footage. Um, I'll include the link below to all to to this, just kind of to give um, give credit where where credit is due. So, uh, like yeah, but basically we're just. We're just going to be um, taking a look at the footage and the gameplay as well. And I'm just going to explain a few things and kind of the main thing to watch out for and what what units to raise in order to get ready for this event. OK, so the event's going to have like um, a lot of various stages. And at the time of recording, it's about a week out from the event. So um, you still have a week to prepare if you're watching by the time, like at the time of my upload, even if you watch a bit later, you'll still have a few days to prepare before it, 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 um, it hits. And the stages will give you first clear rewards and they will also, um, you'll also be able to farm materials in these stages. So with that being said, um, because the, the event stages also give these, um, these tokens, you want to be doing the event stages when when they're up essentially because you'll be able to get um get both the both the materials and the tokens at the same time and the tokens what they're used for is they're used to exchange for other stuff in the kind of the event shop so you'll be able to um get this new unit actually have a sneak peek as well. This this video is just all spoilers, essentially. It's just all of it, just spoilers. Um, <laughs> and you'll be able to exchange your your tokens for for um, for various things, um, recruitment permits or not not recruitment, um, head hunting permits. Um, do they have recruitment permits? I'm I'm so short on recruitment permits. I really need some. 
and you'll be able to get chips, skill books, um, tier 3 materials as well. You'll be able to buy tier 3 materials, which actually makes the event quite good for, you know, farming resources. But probably most of, um, most of my resources are going to be going into getting this limited, event limited unit, because it's kind of like the only time you can, you can get, get it. Um, I think it's called Granny, right? I'm actually gonna search for Granny. So this is the event unit. Um, to I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but essentially she's like a five star version of Vigna um, or Plume. Basically, she's like a one block guard, and she um, her skill makes it so all vanguards get ten percent um, dodge. And when you upgrade her, it goes up to 20%, 25% if you get her to potential 5, which is quite nice. Actually, with a plus 5 and, and it's scaling, it can, it can start at 30 and go, go up higher. So it's actually pretty, pretty nice. Um, her first skill increases her defense. And her second skill, um, you know, this is the percentage of the defense it increases. And her second skill... Um, lowers her attack range but increases attack and defense by 60 percent and she can block one additional unit um and she attacks all blocked units so actually this is this is quite nice it's actually a really nice skill because then you can since she's a um she's a one block vanguard meaning that you can when you put her down you you'll be able to refund all of her um all of her resources with with her second skill she can actually block two which will actually help you get through the early phases of some stages so i think it's it's pretty nice but we're not going to go too deep into into that we're mainly going to be talking about um why you want to like what exactly you need to do to get as much resources as possible during this event um keep in mind a lot of this is like research information it's not like i never played the actual event so um i could be mistaken on a few things but you know with me actually being able to read the language it, it should be should be pretty pretty close to what it actually is so the the reason why you need to like even prepare at all for the event is because the event has has challenge mode stages um, as well as the normal mode stages. The normal mode stages shouldn't actually be a problem to most um, competent players. People who like know the game decently well that should should be able to um, do it no problem. However, the challenge mode stages, um, you know, the enemies do actually become quite a lot stronger on some stages, and you're you're limited in 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 other stages. So. Um, it could be a little bit harder and the reason why you want to do the challenge mode stages is because the challenge mode stages give you more originite on on your first clear so in order for you to get all the originite in this event you have to be able to clear the challenge mode stages that's that's why so we're going to be taking a look at the challenge mode um version of the last two maps on the event which are which are the hardest maps on the event and what units to prepare in order for you to clear those maps. Um, so this is this is G T X two I think H X two. Um, and this is the challenge mode version of it. So bring in a single target caster, um, range or sniper, two tanks, AOE healer. Uh, two block vanguard, one block guard, AOE, AOE, um, oh my god, <laughs> AOE sniper, um, AOE caster, and he single target healer, um, support, or slow, uh, slow support, and another single target healer. And he's also borrowing a friend's unit. Now, because of because of um, challenge mode being um, basically you only have to clear it once, it's actually a very very good idea 
to use fr use your friend's units. If you're missing anything, it's a very good idea to use your friend's units. And with that being said, you actually don't need to um, raise certain units yourself. Um, say if you're missing a certain unit, you can actually try to borrow a friend's unit in order to help you clear challenge mode, which will be which will be quite nice. So he's borrowing a Skyfire, making his team have two AoE mages instead of one. Okay. Alright, so um, I'm actually going to speed this up to times two. And we're going to actually um, go a little bit further. And we're not going to go into too much, too much detail of the actual stage. We're going to mainly um, the important part of the stage, essentially. The... the important strategy of kind of the key of the stage this is pretty simple like this is pretty straightforward he's just setting up his his healers his um his rangers and all that vanguard to charge charger dp and then he's putting down an aoe sniper over here okay and then i think i think at some point he will start using two aoe um aoe casters if I remember, yes, over here. He's using, using two AoE casters. And most of this is pretty easy. It's just regular regular mobs. Um, but the hard part of the actual event stage is the boss over here, this guy. So this guy is called Big Adam. He is, um, he's actually a boss character. He doesn't look like a boss character. He looks like one of those regular, regular dudes. But if you look at the classification, like on the Chinese wiki, um, he's actually classified as a as a boss character, you know, alongside all the all the other ones over here. So, he, so this guy, this guy's a boss. He's not just a regular uh, regular unit. He's an actual boss. He's called Big Adam. And on the earlier stages, there's a another um, another chainsaw dude, and he's called Big Bob. So it's Big Bob and Big Adam. Pretty straightforward naming. Now the the kind of the really scary thing about Big Adam is that he has extremely extremely high attack, like to the point where he's like almost one shotting your your melee units um, if they're like elite one, you know it, he's basically going to be one shotting your melee units even the tanks as well, um, and he also has um, he also has very high physical defense. If you look over here, these are actually his exact, exact, exact stats. Because over here, on um, you'll see that these these are the only two stages that he actually appears in. So he he's actually a boss that's unique to this event. He won't be on the later maps in the future. He's only for this event. So these are his actual exact stats in the in the event. And he what he gets is he gets he has one thousand. Um, defense which is a lot and he has 30 30 magic resist so he has slightly less magic resist than he has defense meaning you should use mostly be using magic damage to do damage to him rather than using physical damage so going back to the video um, after having your your team set up you'll he's using actually using a lot of mages so some of you might not know, um, Shirayuki's second skill actually turns 50% of her damage into magic, into arts. Or I just always keep saying magic, but it's it's basically the same thing. It's like physical and arts damage. It turns, um, I think it's 50%. Yeah, 50% of her damage. It goes up to like 60 maybe when you like skill it up. Um, but it turns some of her, a portion of her damage into into arts damage so we're just actually going to see over here kind of how scary this boss actually is especially on challenge mode so over here the boss is getting into range um, he's popping everything okay amia and skyfire you can see the moment he he does a one attack um this this matterhorn is taking like 60 percent of his hp is gone and he he attacks quite fast too so he basically, the moment he gets into range of one of your melee units, there's no point tanking it. He's just going to one-shot it, essentially. So the, the main strategy here is just 
you nuke him down with magic while stalling and delaying him as much as possible. He's using Orchard here. See, um, the um, Quora died instantly the moment you put it down. So the thing about this boss is you can't tank. Number one, you can't tank him. He's just impossible to tank. Um, number two, he has very, very high physical defense. So you don't want to be using, like, you know, snipers and stuff. You know, so, sorry for everyone that, like, E2 their, their Exusia. Like, it's just, it's not, not going to work too well. Um, but if you like e would your um, Aofala instead, then then yeah, you're 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 gonna be doing pretty good. So what do we actually need for for this um, for this stage? Now he's using four um, four arts <laughs> damage dealers in over here. Um, in order to cut down on this, you don't have to raise four arts damage dealers, but you need to make sure that at least like one or two of your arts damage dealers. Is, is is raised essentially so what that means is um, people who have people let's actually go into the uh, go into over here and we'll take a look at mages as well so anyone that has like you know ob this pretty obvious like you have if you have AFLA like this events gonna be <laughs> pretty like especially if you have her e2 it's like this events gonna be a joke for you essentially um, if you have Ifrit, um, Ifrit, um, it's probably, yeah, she, she actually does a lot of damage to the boss as well. We'll see in the, the other stage. Um, there's actually not that much point of watching the actual strategy. You can research that yourself. We're actually going to take a look at the part where the boss actually gets into range of, um, Ifrit's barbecue. Okay. And then Ifrit's just going to turn him into barbecue. Oh, wait, wait, this isn't the boss. This is just a regular dude. My mistake. That's the boss over there. Okay, so he's getting into range. Um, slowly getting into range. Okay, he's over here. He's up here. So he's getting into range. And Korra's popping her defensives. Like, through Korra's second skill, it still did 60% of her, her HP. And he attacks instantly again. Ooh, that was 90% of her HP bar. Yeah, so he's he's just, he's just nuking him down. Like Midnight and um Midnight is like a three star version of um Lapland. So he turns part of his damage into into arch damage as well. Um Amiya's just just hits really hard. So if it's um Doing some sick, sick damage. This Korra is actually really, really beefy. Oh my god. Did you see that? Like, it almost one-shot her. Oh, but now her cooldown's over, so she's she's gone. So Ifra's just barbecuing him. And then putting down, um, putting down an orchard. Slow him down. So actually, like, if you have, like, Angelina with her second skill, the moment he gets into, like, the range of your, like, Magic damage dealers just pop that and then just like, just nuke them down essentially. So yeah, pretty much with this event, um, the next thing you probably need to raise to, to prepare for it is a strong magic damage dealer. So um, you know these two are definitely the best. They're they're six stars. Um, Skyfire will do quite well. She does AOE as well. You'll actually see in the the earlier parts of the last stage. Um, there's actually, there's actually some places like like the the mobs actually flood in, really really hard. At the beginning part of the stage, you'll see that there, there's actually quite a lot of um, a lot of enemies to kill at once. Oh wait, this this dude's like doing a low uh, low level clear. We'll go back to the this video, you'll see that there's actually a lot of mobs coming in at once. So having both, um, having both like AOE and single target magic damage is is very very important because you'll need to be um, nuking these guys down with AOE damage, and the AOE magic damage dealer can still help with the boss as well. So Skyfire is actually another very very good choice for for this event. Um, but probably my greatest recommendation and probably what I'm going to be doing as well 
is um, putting a lot of resource in into Amiya. Um, Amiya actually does a lot of damage. She, she hits really, really hard. Um, and she's definitely worth it for the late game. Like, even, like, you know, she she actually doesn't get completely replaced. There's, there's later content in the game that actually will require you to use, like, Amiya's third skill. Well, it's not required, but, like, she'll help a lot. Um, it's like one of the clear strategies for for f some future maps. So it's not it's definitely not a waste for you to be putting resources into Amiya. And I think Amiya is going to be a very very, um, very good, very safe choice for anyone that wants to um, do well and clear the clear the challenge mode stages on on this event. Um, besides that, um, Gitano Haze are all are also pretty good. Um, Gitano is like a doesn't hit as hard as Skyfire, but she hit hits like her range is actually really really insane. She hits really really far, so she can help with the with the parts where the um, there's a lot of mobs flooding in. I think having her will be quite nice. Um, Haze is like not as good as Amiya, but some people like to use her, and I also have like a like a second. Um, second like f2p account with using only four stars and i actually raised haze and she actually does does a lot of damage um especially when there's no range enemies she she does crazy crazy damage because she actually like sacrifices her her um defense in order to increase her damage um so it's it's really nice as well uh, besides that like you know if you only have like like if you only have amia and nobody else because Amiya was given to you for free. Um, you can actually consider putting some resources into Lava as well because Lava actually does pretty pretty decent AOE damage. You actually see in a um, in another video. This is like a cheese clear. It's not like a overpowering the boss. He's using like a lot of the boxes to to kind of block block out the bosses um, blocks block out the boss from like passing through. He actually uses 12F and Lava a lot to, to do that. Um, and I'm not sure if we're going to be getting Midnight before the event launches. But Midnight will actually help quite a bit. He's a he's a 3 star. So we might actually be able to get him. And he also does like AoE Arts damage. So it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, this guy did, does like some, some cheese strategy. So as long as you have some AoE casters, it should be fine. But I think the kind of the more worrying thing, like if you don't have high enough DPS, is actually the the second to last stage, not the last stage, because this stage there's no real way to cheese him. You have to just blow him up before he gets to the exit, essentially. So it's it's basically um, all it is is like it's a DPS race. It's a DPS race with your magic damage dealers, essentially. That's what the the first event really involves. So. Um, if you don't have the six stars, <laughs> probably Amiya. I think I think she's she's gonna be a very very safe choice. Um, mainly to to help with the boss, and then another AOE damage dealer, whether it be um, Skyfire, Gitano, or Lava. And then if you have these two, then I guess there's there's just there's no, there's nothing much to say about it. Like if you have Aafala, it's just like this event's gonna be a joke. Like she's just gonna she's just gonna melt them. So it's it's um, that's kind of the way it is. But anyways, that is that is pretty much it. That's really all I wanted to um, to really share for the the new upcoming event. Um, it should launch by the time the new, next banner switches. So, by my predictions, it should be on either the 9th or the 10th. Yes, it should be on either the 9th or the 10th. Yes. Also, one, one slow unit would be actually be very, very good for the second to last stage. I think Angelina would be actually very, very strong. Because her, her second skill is like a active burst. This is, this is a specialist. Her like second skill is like an active burst where she, the moment she uses it, it like, 
Um, she doesn't do anything before, but like the moment she uses it, she does like just insane slowing and then also does like very, very go good damage as well at the same time. Um, Pramonix actually could help a lot for reducing um, enemy resistance. I think she also reduces enemy resistance. Yeah, Pramonix reduces enemies' resistance by 26%. And I think the boss has 30%. So, like, if you have a skill 7 Pramonix, like, you could just pair her with, like, an, another mage, and that will just melt the boss, probably. That will definitely melt the boss. I actually have Pramonix. I think, I think she could be... Um, man, I don't have that much. But even, even like... Lowering 20% of the magic resist is, is still very, very nice. If I can get to like rank 3 or rank 4, and then get get her to elite 1, could be pretty pretty good. Yes, okay. Anyways, that's pretty much it um, for, for this one. Uh, these are just some recommendations. Obviously, there's a lot of, very, a lot of ways to deal with the event stages. The, these aren't the only ways, but these are two proven strategies so you'll know they work for sure like a hundred percent like there's video proof you you just seen it so you know for sure it's a hundred percent gonna work if you use this specific strategy this is just one of many strategies to clear the clear the event obviously but if you want to stay on the safe side then i think um one strong magic damage dealer and one strong like aoe one strong single target and one strong aoe should be able to um to carry you through the event. And having a slow support should be pretty nice as well. I um, actually don't know what Earth Spirit does. I think... I mean, obviously everybody has or Orchid. Um, we can all use Orchid. Uh, she... Yeah, she just increases her attack speed, so she slows quite a lot. Um, Earth Spirit... Earth Spirit can make people stop, so that's actually... That, that, that could be... Better than a slow, unless the bo unless bosses are immune, of course. But Pramonix should be should actually do really really well. I think Angelina would be really good for for it as well. But if you have nothing else, then Amiya is probably the safest choice. So yeah, this was longer than it needed to be, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.